Hi, and welcome back. I'm Capital M, and today we're going to be going diving into the Crystal Cave. Uh, and I'll pretty much not be showing you exactly where it is. Just know that it's the most southeastern lake. Um, it is quite a far run from my base, so I didn't uh, video all of that or record it, so to speak. Uh, so, um, yeah, we'll just dive right into it. First and foremost, running over here, just in general, is worth it. I have gotten so much, you know, crap in a sense uh, that it's just worth to run over here and then run back to my base. I mean, I wouldn't even be mad. Uh, but we are going to head into the water. I will be showing you guys exactly where it's located. I might have a little bit of a trouble time because I did delete my BCU that was down there. And pretty much that would show me exactly where to go. Um, but I know it's more on the right side of the islands if you're looking at it from the southeastern uh, southeastern part. Cannot speak. But welcome back all. I'm glad you guys stopped in to watch the uh, the crystal cave dive. So pretty much we're just picking up everything. Like I said in past videos, we pick up everything. Never leave anything behind. Um, and then we're going to just start heading there. It is about directly south of that first island right there, the cave. Um, and then the only way to really find the cave is to kind of bob up and down in the water. You'll have a good look um, through water and you'll be able to kind of pick it out there. But first and foremost, I see a pearl right here, which I'm going to dive down and get. I don't know how many tanks I brought. I brought enough. Maybe we'll br grab both these pearls. We'll see. I might as well grab this one. I need to remake my diving station because when I was in through the move, I ended up destroying it. So when underwater and you're about to uh, run out of oxygen, just pop that on so you don't waste too much of your tanks. A very good tip that I taught myself. At least I feel like it's a good tip. Just so you're not burning through oxygen tanks like it's nothing. I did see a couple more over there, but we'll just act like we didn't see them. And do make sure you take off your uh, diving tank. Because if you go under like this, it's going to take your oxygen out of your tank. It's not going to just, you know, use your oxygen that you have and then use your oxygen tank. It's going to pull straight from your oxygen tank. So, just, you know, just so you guys do know, it's a little heads up and a little trick. We're actually going to dive down... Gosh, there are so many pearls. I really don't want to be burning all these, but I'm screwed, man. We have to. I just don't have any pearls in my base, and I don't have any more oxygen tanks, and I can't make any because I don't have a diving tank right now. Diving tank station. So, that is unfortunate. But we are pretty close to the cave, so that is also good. Before we go in, we do need the sandstone, but I'm not uh, going to burn my my diving tanks for sandstone right now. It just is not worth it, in my opinion. So let's get up to surface. Come on, game, let me up. <laughs> See, I would have been dead ten times over again if I didn't have the tanks. Okay, let's see where we're located on. We're actually fairly close to it. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of hard time finding it. Um, you guys can make fun of me, but I have only honestly been here three times. So we're going to search for it together. I know it's a little bit past here. It's like right over this way, actually. Am I? Am I okay? I feel like it's like right by me for some reason. So I remember, I didn't go too far. I swear to gosh, it's over here. We'll swim over here really quick. I apologize, guys. Oh, it's right there. I knew it was right around here. So if you can see, if you look closely, it is right dead northwest of me right now. You can kind of see the little hole if I'm bobbing up and down in the water. From here, you cannot see it. You'll never be able to see it. Uh, but if you're bobbing your head in the water, right there, you'll be able to see it. 
I mean, you can see it perfectly right here. But if you, like, kind of glitch the screen, you can see the, the tunnel and everything. So, just keep that in mind. But we are going to be heading down here in just a second. Gosh, and there's so many pearls everywhere. I'm going to actually snag this one, and then I'll head into the cave. Just want to make sure we don't run out of oxygen because, like I said, I don't have too much. But I think we'll be fine. It only takes about one oxygen tank to go in there. Um, so it's not terrible. But definitely be conservative because if you do not find it right away and you're diving around and going deep down there and then you're not getting into the cave or not finding the cave, then you just realize that you burn through three tanks in the matter of like 45 seconds and then you're like oh great now i have no oxygen and i can't go in there and uh just know so when you do go into this cave if there's anything out at the entrance of it that you guys do want farm it now because by the time you come back out of this cave it's going to be gone it's going to despawn or it's going to relocate on the relocation spawn so just dive 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 just follow the path. It's pretty simple. You're not going to get lost. There's no other, like, like you know, right and left turn. It's just literally down and around. Just keep on following it. See how I'm just burning through oxygen tanks? I'm at three. It came with about four and a half, I think. Because I had two tanks that were pretty much just toast. And then you'll see this it does sound a lot different than what it would normally sound like when swimming because you're in a cave but yeah so go over a little couple tips most important thing make sure you have armor down here and make sure you have antidotes if you don't have either of those you're pretty much screwed unless you have a shotgun and a good shot because there's going to be bats that come down and fly at you and you're most likely you're going to get hit once or twice no matter what pretty much um so, first and foremost, I made a little base down here because what I do is I put everything that I don't want to lose if I do die. Because pretty much if you die here and you don't have a diving station with an extra spare, um, like, diving set, you're screwed. And you're going to lose your diving set and you're going to lose everything on you. So everything I have on me right now, I'm pretty okay with losing, to be completely honest. It'll take me some time to get back here uh, because, like I said, I'll have to make that diving station. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, another thing that you guys do need, I'm just kind of going to kind of go over the uh, general uh, loadout I come with. This is pretty much it. I come with extra shotgun shells. I come with two antidotes because there are those bats and sometimes they will poison you, most likely on the first or second hit. Come with arrows just on the travel here. I did fight a couple animals. Protein bars because they don't spoil, and you're going to be down here for quite some time. Uh, strawberries just to get that extra fruit and vegetables, and then the berry water, of course. Um, I just grabbed those out of my, you know, dr mining drill. I didn't really mean to bring them, uh, but yeah. That's what I bring uh, because one time I was down here for like three days, and yeah, it just kind of gets expensive in the food just... Uh, food category so these are the crystals right here these are crystals you're gonna mine them you get four crystals every time crystal ore so they kind of look like that and then you have your coal which is it's decent everybody says it's better than wood yeah it might not take as long to chop but it does not burn in my opinion longer than wood burns um and here comes a bat So, pretty easy. Just make sure you wait to the last second. If you don't wait to the last second, it's going to keep on charging at you. And you're most likely going to get hit. So, just be patient when that bat does come. And you will know it's coming. Because I was speaking and I still heard it. And this is what coal looks like. Just so everyone does know. And some people come in here, don't mine it at all. And some people come in here and only mine coal. So it's just kind of personal preference what you want to do with your crystal mine cave dive. That was funky. I just said that weird. But, you know, when you come into the cave, you can set off to do anything you want. I know friends that have built a base in here. But the thing is, is with the base, it's not, you know, self-sustainable. You can't live down here for a long period of time. Yeah, you got water and you got meat from bats. But you really have no, you know, source of vegetables. 
So, I mean, yeah, you can bring as many as you want, but in the end, you're just going to slowly burn out of them. And to get power down here, I want to say good luck. Have a lot of biofuel. So, going to mine everything. Hopefully not skip over any crystals. We haven't found any crystals, really. Literally only eight freaking crystal ore. That's not good. Not a good run. A good run's probably like 25 to 35 crystal. Um, look at that. Everything just respawned again. That was super cool. So, um, people do stay down here longer than how long I'm going to stay down here. Because they feel like they want to get their, their enough. I thought I just heard a bat. They want to get enough resources out of their run. Out of their time being here and everything. And I truly don't care. I just come here, mine what's here, and then leave. Um, like I said, you can build a base. Stay down here for a couple nights. Because every 20, 20 to 35 minutes, everything respawns. Just depending on the timer. Um, not everything respawns, but a lot does respawn. So it is kind of useful. If you want to kind of just farm. And then, yeah, you, then you're good to go. So crawl or swim in this water. And then there's going to be two directions in this cave. Um, either way goes to the same area. One way you just have to jump and one way you don't have to jump. One way just is a walkway and then one way you jump off into a water. Um, the right is the water jump. Uh, the left is you just walk down to the, to the river. Either way works, like I said. But some people don't want to miss the jump or you know lag and then when they're falling land on land and not water and then you die and it's just a pain in the butt you know so i just take the left area just because it's simple you're not going to have any you know difficulties you're not going to die there's no way you can die unless a bat comes and kills you but at that point i feel like you should kill with a shotgun so but we're making our way down uh and like i said all this cave is, there's nothing interesting about it. All there is is different sounds, effects. There's bats. Very little amount of bats. I mean, I think you get like one every eight minutes you're down here, I believe. Um, I haven't completely clocked it. But I know it's not a lot. And the bats give you nothing, so it's not like there's something special about the bats. And it's literally just crystals and freaking, you know, coal. So it's it's not it's not what everybody makes it seem like. And uh, as you can see, you're probably like, why the heck is there a, a foundation there? If you do put foundations on the ground and a bat comes after you and you stand on the foundation, the bat's supposed to fly in front of you just up and down, up and down, and it gives you time to shoot the bat. I felt like it was ten times harder to kill the bat than just wait for it to be in my face. Um, because when it is like glitched out it just spazzes out and it's just hard to aim at it to be honest so i just wait and just shoot it with a shotgun don't bring a pistol it takes too many shots it's gonna you know just attack you constantly and it's just gonna be very annoying one thing i have noticed uh if you do not kill the bat right away and it attacks you two times it will fly back up into the air and remount to the cave it will just kind of leave you alone. But it does attack you quite a bit. It brought me down to 20 HP that time I let it do that. And, you know, it poisoned me. And it wasn't... It's not fun. So, just make sure you focus. Make sure you have headphones on. Um, and you'll be perfectly fine. Cave, you'll be more than fine. You do not need much to go to these caves. And I'm sure you could get away with just using a pistol or you know a rifle but i just feel like it's a little bit of waste of bullets cost more for a rifle and shotgun's really not bad but i do hope speaking of i know i'm talking a lot but right here i hope they come up with something there because these caves are so boring have you realized okay now that i'm about to say that there's nothing in this cave a freaking whole line of shit I didn't notice that was about to break. You guys are probably in my stream or my YouTube. Like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Excuse my language. I'm saying a lot of bad words. Um, but, yeah, the cave is nothing special. And the only thing you need crystals for are bows. Bow and arrows, not even bows. Uh, a lift and a lift rods. 
That's it. And you don't even need that many. So. It's not really necessary to come down here a, sh a crap load. But, it, I mean, it is kind of nice. It's just a little different environment. Kind of nice little, you know, exploration date for yourself. Because I feel like if you come down here with a partner uh, or a player that you're playing with, it is not worth it. You guys are each going to get nothing. You're going to get the little amount of freaking crystals each. You're going to get hardly any coal. So I would just kind of stagger it out um, unless you guys are deciding to stay down here for a long period of time. In which, in that case, good for you guys. But I just don't see a point in staying down here for a terrible amount of time. Because it's not fun, in my opinion. This is not what I played the game for, to sit in a cave. It does make it a little bit grindier. Makes it kind of interesting because you have to go on a journey for this. But it's not like you're going to run into any cave horrors or any cave bosses or anything crazy. That would be really interesting and fun. And then maybe they did drop like uh, a certain amount of crystals or, you know, maybe the possibility of getting a crystal pickaxe or something. And you need a certain amount of crystal pickaxe shards to make a crystal pickaxe. But... We have to remember this is one developer and yeah, he's done a really good job. It's just there's a couple things you can update. And this is me just bambling on because like I said, this is a boring content. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of where it's at, what to expect when you come down here. As you can see, I've had two bats come at me in the how long I've been here. I've been down here probably for like, I want to say 12 minutes. And that was because I was on either side. I wasn't on the same side the whole entire time. So we're going to make our way back home. Back to our base. Um, grab all the stuff that we put in there. Just in case we did have a, a mishaps. And you know fall and break our legs and die. So we're going to head back there. Grab all our, our goodies. Grab our oxygen tank. And head back out of here. And hope there's a couple more crystals over by our base. And in fact... Unfortunately, there's not. So, you have to figure. 12 minutes, we got 33 crystals and 58 coal. I've done a, be a lot better runs than that, and I've done a lot worse runs than that. Just know you're going to have bad times and you're going to have good times. And, and to be honest, that didn't take that much time. It took me longer to run out here from my base. There's another piece of coal right there, but I see BA. It took me longer to get... Oh, there's another piece of coal right there, too. And a crystal. What is going on? Did I really just miss all this stuff? Who the heck are you? How you doing, Sonny? I appreciate your kindness. Now, let me get out of this. This is one thing they do need to fix. Getting out of water. That is just obnoxious, dude. Anywhere in this game, trying to get out of water is just ridiculously, you know, not needed, to be honest. There has to be a code to not have to suck yourself off the whole entire time. My mouse is breaking. I try holding down the left button. It does not work. Now it works. All right. Now we are out, going out of the cave. Heading back out. And then I'll pretty much just show you um, where it is located again, kind of, so you have a better idea. Um, but I mean, like, look at this. Stop there. Boom. I think I'm going to burn, you know, 75% of this tank. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Who knows? Depends if there's some pearls out here that I need to get. Yeah, see him there. Not burning. Ooh, two pearl spawns. Right, three pearl spawns. That is nice. I'm more excited about that than the flipping crystals. To be completely honest with you guys. Wait, where did that go? I get three crisp pearl spawns. 
Wow, did you see that? Oh, four, four pearl spawns. A four pearl spawns. That's very nice. I like very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. All right. Then after I get this, I'll swim up to surface and I'll pretty much show you guys. Is that another one? Oh my gosh, game! I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Freaking 12 pearls. That is awesome. That is so well worth. And there's a sandstone right there. That I don't care about. Okay, there's one more pearl. And then I'll show you guys, I promise. I'm sorry. This is just once in a lifetime kind of situation. And there's another one over there. My gosh. Alright, bef before I go to that pearl, I'll show you guys, uh... Exactly where it's located. So put a mental picture or snip it from the from the video um, So you're going up 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 and I'm gonna just be right directly above it once I get to the surface And I will show you from there. Gosh, I love how many pearls there are. I'm sorry I care more about the pearls than the crystals right now All right, so Island directly in front of us directly east and we come from the northwest Literally, just act like you're swimming straight to the island and stop there. Being completely honest, it is not that far away. I thought it was a lot further. So, swim to the island right in the middle. I would say this is about middle. Swim straight down. You're good to go. Heck yeah. That is awesome. And I'm doing exactly what I told you guys not to do. <laughs> Alright, then we have to get the heck out of here. We're burning way too many freaking oxygen tanks. I'm not burning oxygen for this. But I do hate having like these two oxygen tanks that are just shot. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I could show you guys me running all the way back to base, but that is super non-content and very, you know, lame. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys took a little bit from this, um, if not a lot. Uh, and just take it into your next time you're on subsistence and when you want to go to the Crystal Cave. So, like I said, run near southeastern Most Lake. Show you on the map as well. Boom. And that's my base all the way over there. So, my base ran all the way over here. Boom. Dead center of the, the lake. Boom, 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 boom. Right there. From the island, right in the middle. Swim down, have about a tank and a half, two tanks, depending on how much diving you want to do. Or if you get lost, I just bring about four or five tanks. And you won't have to worry about anything. But this is the loot. We got 37 crystals, 62 coal. Got some uh, some scrap metal, some electrical components, some bullets, some rounds, this and that. We got cloth. We got two uh, stakes, 14 pearls. That's amazing. Um, yeah, just some some other miscellaneous stuff It is definitely worth going down there just because the the resources you get from running back and forth um, But besides that guys, I hope you guys next crystal cave run goes a little bit better than your last one That is it from me if you guys, please could subscribe leave a comment leave a like I would appreciate it very much. I'm capital M and I'm signing out